Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about fat packs and as you guys know and you can see behind me, I love fat packs. A lot of you ask why do I buy fat packs instead of boxes or because I buy a lot of fat packs. Uh, the reason I like fat packs over boxes and I will always say that I would take a fat pack over box um, is not because of like the container or the guide. I throw most of it out actually. Outside of like a few boxes, the older boxes, um, some of these fat pack boxes I don't even have, especially like when it's kind of a crappy box. But the box, the dice, uh, none of that really makes sense to me. But the reason I buy fat packs is because it limits the amount of money I can spend. Yes, I don't get as much uh, boosters as cheaply as I would if I purchased a box. So again, I buy boxes for about $80 a box. And then for a case, it's less than that. For a case, I feel like it comes out to $78. And that's after tax. So after tax, I buy it for $80 a box. Uh, fat packs I buy for $30 a fat pack, so it would take $120 to buy the same amount of booster packs as they would for a box. So it would be like 80 versus 120 which is a big difference, but the reason I buy a fat pack is because it's still $30. And when I open stuff, I cannot stop. I cannot keep stuff unopened. I just cannot do it. Um, I've tried. I tried my hardest to uh, keep my Zendikar boxes not opened, but then like you're with friends, you're drinking, and you're like, oh cool, let's open the Zendikar box, let's draft it. And that's what happened to the Zendikar box, and that's what happened to the uh, Shards of Allura box. Well, luckily Elspeth was reprinted and all that stuff, so I didn't, at that time Elspeth was not reprinted, so she was very pricey at the time. Um, I don't know if that box had an Elspeth. No, I don't feel like it did. But the uh, Zendikar box had actually a foil misty rainforest, which I no longer have with me because I sold it to Strike Zone. <laughs> no, I sold it to Asgard Games. Yeah, Asgard Games has that foil misty. Um, yeah, so I don't, I cannot keep product. I've noticed about myself. I want to open boxes or fat packs, especially when I'm with friends and we're in the cat, when I'm at my home and we're just chilling or we're at somebody else's home, I'll bring like stuff to open. And a lot of times we have these events where we, um, if no one brings in the stuff, we just go to a local store and sometimes the selection is not great. Sometimes the selection is very poor at these stores. There's just standard stuff and the older stuff, like the RTR boxes, I purchased so many of them. And I have just two boxes unopened right now because I've opened them all, I've drafted them all. Dragon Maze, like, it's an absolute nightmare. Like, let's take a look. No, I don't have any Dragon Maze here. Carnage of Tarkir, I opened a ton too. Uh, so the fat pack actually limits the amount of stuff I would open normally if I purchased a box. So when I look at it, it's $80 versus $30, not $120 versus $80. Uh, that being said, most times when you open packs, you're gonna lose money. So for me, when I have a fat pack, it's the same feeling as opening a box. Because uh, when you open like, you're not gonna open like nine packs in a box and not finish the box, right? No, that doesn't make any sense. Like why would you just have fat, well, I guess I do have like boosted packs lying around because of pre-release kits, but why would you do that? Like, does that make sense to anybody? Like I don't, I don't get it, right? Um, anyway, so the reason that I buy fat packs is really to prevent me from opening or buying more boxes. And I typically, like it sounds good, hey, I'm gonna buy boxes and I'm gonna keep it sealed. But what the problem is, is when you have a buyer for a Zendikar box, the shipping on that with insurance, because at that point in time, the, like, the box is worth that much, and finding a buyer for a good price uh, is very difficult. So you're just like, okay, this box is worth $500, but it will cost me $50 to ship it to like Europe. Why don't I just take the box and open it? <laughs> I mean, that's actually what goes out, goes on in my mind. Um, especially when you're with friends. Like I can't tell you how many times we've opened expensive boxes just to draft. We've opened uh, Tempest and I got like two Jackal Pups, which I mean, that to me is worth it. Like that's so worth it to me. Uh, to play the deck I used to love when I was a kid. Uh, we've opened boxes of our lines before. 
And uh, the way that my friends work is if someone has a box, uh, we just open it and we draft it and we have fun. And it's not a big deal because next time you open your box, I open my box, we contribute whatever we have. Uh, we all do make different amounts of money. So like the people who make more, they contribute more and it's because they can. And I don't, if you have really, really friend, good friends and you've been friends for a long time, talking about like four or five years, none of this matters. Like whose box it is, like what cost you purchased the box at, none of it really matters because you're just having fun. And a lot of times you cannot pay for the experience. Like you cannot pay for a beat down with Jacko Pop. I mean, you just cannot pay for that. It just makes me so happy. Like think about it. like Jacko Pop's was my first princess card. I mean, the card on it looks so innocent, but at that time, it was considered the most aggressive card in red. It was considered better than Lightning Bolt. I kid you not. A 2-1 with a drawback was considered better than Lightning Bolt. Uh, such a good card and so fun to play with. But that's why I buy Fat Packs. Uh, it just prevents me from opening more boxes and uh, and you know, at the end of the day, like you do have to like limit yourself and opening packs is very addicting. Extremely. I open the same amount of packs I did in the past. I just like film more of it or have contests for it and stuff like that. Which gives me more excuse to open it, but at the same time, it's like I cannot open more than I currently do. Because I'm currently opening, um, I would say a fat pack a weekend at least, um, pre-release, like once, no, pre when the release date hits, I open a lot because that's when you get the maximal value. Uh, you get a tremendous amount of value from your Dragon Lords, your Commands, your, you know, your Fetch Lands, if you're in Collins of Tarkir, your Ugans, your Shalkons, your Narsets. Narset trades so well. I mean, she just trade like this. And you can trade up with Narset, and that's the crazy part about having cards or having a ton of cards uh, when they just come out is you're the only one who has those cards or in that capacity, in play sets. Uh, and then people even in Legacy and Vintage, they need those cards so they will come to you and they will give you value for it because you're the only one who has it. Uh, the stores don't even have it at that point. Anyway, bye guys.